number line is long, very long. It would take an infinite amount of ribbon to cover the number line. Like I said, it's long. And there are numbers on the number line. There are the whole numbers. And between any two consecutive whole numbers, there are the fractions. For example, here's the fraction 5 thirds. And here's the fraction 5 fourths. And between any two fractions on the number line, there's a fraction between them. For example, between them would be 5 three and a halfs. If you like, you think of that as 10 sevenths. In fact, I could put 99 fractions between any two given fractions on the number line. For example, between 5 fourths and 5 thirds, I could put the fraction of 5 3.0 once, 5 3.0 twoths, 5 3.0 threes, all the way down to 5 3.9 ninths. 99 fractions in between those two. And in fact, I could put a million fractions between any two given fractions on the number line. I could put a million in between these ones, a million. Between any two of those, there's a million more fractions to write in between. Between any two of those, there's a million more fractions. It looks like the fractions are filling up the entire number line. The fractions do indeed densely fill, fill, fill the number line. Whoa! So it looks like everything is taken up, all the space is taken up by fractions. Yet, I claim the total amount of space taken up by the fractions on the number line, despite what my eyes are showing me here, is actually Zero. I claim the fractions are taking up no space at all on this number line. Whoa! To prove that, we'll need two facts. According to my calculator, 1 divided by 9, 1 ninth, equals 0 0.111111 forever. In fact, I can see that by doing the long division and place value chart. Let's take the number 1, one of these, and look for groups of 9. Well, 1, 1 is really the same as 10 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those. And I see a group of 9 right there, right at that level, with an extra tenth left over, which is really the same as 10 one hundredths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those. In which case, I see another group of 9 right there at that level, one left over, which is really the same as 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I seem to be in an infinite cycle. 1 ninth equals 0 0.11111 forever. Great. But let me write it this way. I have 0 0.1, 0 0.1, a tenth, plus 0 0.01, 0 0.01, a hundredth, plus a thousandth, 0 0.001, and so on and so on and so on, apparently adds up to 1 ninth. Now, if I make this sort of practical in some way, I could say, oh, if I have 1 tenth of an inch of ribbon, okay, let's pretend that's 1 tenth of an inch, and I add 1 hundredth of an inch of ribbon, okay, there's 1 hundredth of an inch of ribbon, plus a thousandth of an inch of ribbon, a thousandth, and if I could do that forever, What's the total amount of ribbon I just used? Well, it all adds up to just one ninth of an inch of ribbon in total. This sum of ribbon lengths is just one ninth of an inch in total. Wow. Actually, let me divide everything by 10, because I could also say if I took a hundredth and a thousandth and a ten thousandth and so on and so on and so on, that is take one tenth of all these lengths, I must get a total length of one ninetieth of an inch of ribbon. And if I divide by 10 again, 0 0.001, that length, plus 0 0.001, plus 0 0.00001, and so on, add up all those lengths of the ribbon, they'll add up to a total of 1 900th, the tenth of that again, of an inch of ribbon. And I can keep doing that. Wow, that's my first fact. Here's the second fact I need. It's possible to put all the positive fractions in a list. All right, for example, I can put all the unit fractions 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5, and so on and so on in a list. But I'm missing a lot of fractions. I'm missing all the 2 overs, 2 over 1, 2 over 2, 2 over 3, 2 over 4, 2 over 5, and so on. There's a second list. And then I need all the 3 over 1s, 3 over 2s, 3 over 3s, 3 over 4s, and so on. And the 4 over 1s, and the 4 over 2s, etc, etc, etc. But then I need to keep going. It looks like, oh, I've got an infinite number of lists of all my fractions. But this will contain all the fractions. But I'm undeterred. It is possible to get a single list of fractions out from this diagram. Thank you, Gail Cantor in the 1800s to realize, oh, just weave a path diagonally. Start there and follow the path along the diagonals of this diagram. Whoa, whoa. And that will give you a list of fractions. Here's a list of fractions. List of all the positive fractions, at least. Fractions, here it goes. 
make one one-th, one your first fraction, then one half your second fraction, then two over one, two your third fraction, then three your, th your next fraction, uh, two twos is one, we've already got that, we'll also just skip over that, then one third, then one quarter is the next fraction on the list, then two thirds, then three halves, one and a half, then four, and then five, then two, we've already got two, and we've already got one, we've already got a half, then a fifth, and so on and so on. But there we are, it's possible to put all the fractions on the list, you'll eventually hit every possible fraction that is in this wonderful list right here. Great, two facts done, now we're ready to prove the main result of today. Okay, let's now establish that the fractions take up zero amount of space on the number line. Okay, recall we can write all the positive fractions in a list. In fact, one is the first fraction of my list, a half is the second fraction in the list, then two is the next fraction, followed by three, followed by a third, which is over here, one third, followed by one fourth, which is here, one fourth, uh, then two thirds, which is there, two thirds, then a one and a half, which is here, three halves, then four, and so on and so on. Now, every fraction on the number lines being marked here, I know because I know every fraction appears in this list. We've got all the fractions on the number line, at least the positive half of the number line. Great. Now, let me show that these fractions take up at most one ninth of the interest space on the number line. I won't go for zero yet, I'll just go for the fraction one ninth of the space. How am I going to show that? Well, I must be using this. Let me take these pieces of ribbon that add up to one ninth of an inch of ribbon. I'll take the first piece, one tenth of an inch long, and cover the number one with it. That's only covered more than number one, so I'm overdoing it. There's a lot of coverage there, over covered there. Let me take the next length of ribbon, one tenth of an inch, and cover the second fraction of my list, which is one half. There it is, cover one half. Again, way over coverage. Uh, one thousandth, that's the next uh, piece of ribbon. Let's cover the third fraction with one thousandth of an inch of ribbon and so on and so on. Take all the bits of ribbon from up here and cover all the fractions in that order on the number line. And that will cover all the fractions on the number line. And how much ribbon did I use? I used one ninth of an inch of ribbon to cover all the fractions and that was overdoing it. So the fractions take at most one ninth of an inch of space on the number line. But actually, I can say that was way inefficient. I could take the same list of ribbons again, but go down to the next one. Let's use the, uh, well, we won't use the tenth. Let's start with the hundredth and the thousandth and the ten thousandth and so forth. Let's now do this. Let's cover the first fraction with one one hundredth. Uh, one. Over coverage again. Too wide to cover just that one point right there, but there it is. We've covered one. Cover two with the second uh, piece of ribbon on this list. Half. And so on and so on. I can cover all the fractions on the number line with one ninetieth of an inch of ribbon now. And that is still overdoing it. That's still very wasteful. Because actually I can go down to the next one. I can now use uh, that one and so on. I can cover every fraction with this amount of ribbon. One nine hundredth of an inch of ribbon. Then I can cover every fraction on the number line with at most a uh, one nine thousandth of an inch of ribbon. At most one ninety thousandth of an inch. At most one nine hundred thousandth of an inch of ribbon. I can cover it with smaller and smaller and smaller amounts of uh, ribbon. So small that I can only possibly conclude that the amount of space taken by the fractions on the number line is a number so small that could fit this philosophically, smaller than any one nine thousandth, ninety thousand, nine hundred thousand, nine hundred billion thousandths. Zero. Zero. The fractions take up zero space on the number line. Whoa. Whoa. Which is amazing. Because there's an infinite amount of space on the number line and the fractions are taking up none of that space. This is crazy. Which means most numbers on that number line are not fractions. We humans love the fractions and the whole numbers. We focus and do all our work and thinking in fractions and whole numbers, yet, do you know what? That takes up 0% of the number line. Whoa, that's either delightful or disturbing, I'm not sure which.